we're going over the three levels of using auto-tune in BandLab. Noob, intermediate, guide level. A lot of people have to understand about using auto-tune is that you can use it however you choose. As long as your key and your scale is correct, your retune speed settings really depend on you, your singing ability, and what you want. First level of using auto-tune would basically be to not use it, all right? Nobody's forcing you to use auto-tune in BandLab, right? Nobody's putting a gun to your head. Nobody's forcing you to use auto-tune. There's no difference in mixing a vocal that has auto-tune versus one that doesn't, right? You still got to EQ the same way you would compress and do all that other stuff. Only thing the auto-tune is doing is keeping the notes in key. That's it. And people ask me, how would I know that? I work with auto-tune. I work with BandLab. As you can see, verified for a band lab. If you're gonna use auto pitch, auto tune, if you wanna use natural tune, you wanna keep the tune very low, right? Because now it'll be correcting the notes, but it's not prevalent. It's not like just overpowering everything around 22. We see it's working, it's moving, it's correcting, but we don't really hear it like going, going super crazy, right? And we go up, right? So now, we're at 56% and we're correcting, but we don't really hear the robot voice. That's just how it sounds. So right now you hear it like this, then I click that, it's still the same thing. It's like, I'm still myself, you're just hearing myself the way I am. And if I go out of key, you would hear me go out of key. It's very simple. Like BandLab finds the key and the scale for you, but a lot of people make a lot of noob mistakes. A lot of people on YouTube, they don't put their beats in the correct key and the scale and they label them different. So they might show up differently. That's where the circle of fifths come into play. I will have a link to a website so you can always double check the key and the scale, whatever it gives you. Because when I imported this beat, it was like, it gave me the major. I think it was like E flat major but it kind of sounded off and i knew the relative to e flat major was going to be c minor it sounds better in c minor but those two scales are relative so i had a circle of fifths pop up on the screen but that's very important auto tune level one level one level one level one auto tune level one that was just barely having some tune to help keep me in key now we're at level two this is for the people that's been recording kind of understand the voice, understand how to use the tune, but you want to build a preset that helps bring out the most of you using your tune. I'm going to show you how to do that. So now we have tune, 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 tune. So the tune is hitting. One of the best options that you have in BandLab to improve your auto-tune performance is going to be the 1176 plugin. It's modeled after the legendary Universal Audio 1176 compressor. Trust me, you cannot go wrong with this. Right, just figure out what ratio you want to go. I usually go four to one. It's just how it goes, and you just adjust your attack and release accordingly to have you need. You can sit there and reduce the input, boost the output. It's completely up to you. So you pair this with the tune, and you're good to go. You add the two A behind it, and now you can sit here and adjust the squeeze on it or the gain on it. And you have a mode from compress or limit. Me personally, we're gonna go compress and I like to do about 34 and we're good to go. That automatically makes it sound better. We can hear the vocal better. We can do a better performance this way. Keep in mind, these two plugins are very instrumental in a lot of your favorite artists' music when they're in the studio getting their music mixed, the 76 and the LA-28. So if I was you, I would use these plugins in a lot of my chains. I'm not saying use them every single time. You could use the 1176 without the 2A and the 2A without the 76. You just need to be able to use one of the two or both of them. Them together. Yeah, level two. I use a auto tune level two. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, it's a big difference in level one and level two in the wave file, right? Level one looks louder because it is a louder raw audio file. Level two, on the other hand, I recorded monitored with the 1176 compressor and the LA2A compressor, right? So I boosted myself, I heard myself louder, so I didn't have to perform as loud as needed, right? Because now I was hearing myself louder, now my signal is very consistent across the board. I have a lot of headroom that I can work with right here. Now we have the third level of using auto-tune in BandLab. It's very simple for the people that mastered auto-tune and mastered BandLab, right? 
you got your preset you know what to do but you feel like you're stuck now you just got to understand what do you need to take away from your preset how to really get the most out of your preset by doing more of the heavy lifting in the recording process a lot of people don't cut the little mud part out of the vocal most people vocals don't have any type like it's just mud down here like from 20 up to like 100 like that shit is mud you don't need it so we can roll off a little bit around like 111 for me it just depends on you because what i like to do usually and that's a simple little vocal chain um yep 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 yeah 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 i really do it And another thing that you have to understand about level three, the third level of using AutoTone and BandLab, your performance is everything. You can have the best vocal chain, the best vocal preset, the best song idea, the song structure. If your performance is not on point, it's not going to sound good. I don't care what you do. You have to perform correctly, all right? your performance. So if you're struggling with reaching level three, mastering level three, you have to put in the time with your voice, with your auto tune and just practice like you're going to sound crazy without the tune. Right. People might be walking by your room or whatever. And they're probably like, yo, this shit is horrible. But you have to keep pushing because don't nobody hear you with the tune until you play it back. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Sky Jordan. I'm out of right, Cool. <laughs>